Hi guys, it's Anya from Interior Design Hub back again today to go over with you that rustic modern farmhouse style. Have you guys ever watched Chip and Joanna Gaines and wondered, how do I get that rustic modern farmhouse look? I've got five, 10, 15, oh my God, I don't have enough fingers. I've got 15 tips for you guys today on how to get the rustic modern farmhouse style, just like Chip and Joanna Gaines from Fixer Upper on HGTV. So for these 15 tips, I'm gonna have it all written down in the information below. I'm gonna try to put all the links in because I'm gonna have a shop this look for each single tip. So if there's something that you like, I've already sourced it for you guys. So you can just click and find it. If for any reason, when I actually go to edit this video, they don't fit, I'll link to my website and I'll actually put them all on my website. Let's get into it. All right, tip number one, paint with white, white and more white. Sounds easy. There's lots of shades of white. I've included them below, don't you worry. But really that quintessential farmhouse look, we're gonna start with a really neutral color palette. What I love about painting with white is that you actually make everything else in the room jump out. So when you go for painting with a neutral color palette, you're really gonna get that beautiful, clean farmhouse feel. Tip number two, embrace shiplap. Beautiful decorating technique that takes a boring wall from drab to fab. It is a quintessential decorating technique to create that rustic modern feeling within a space. If you don't have the cash to buy prefab shiplap, you can make your own with some basic two by fours from a lumber store. Cut to size and paint it in the right shade of white. Tip number three, white slip covers. Don't have the money to spend on all new furniture? No worries, you can update your look and embrace this by slip covering what you already have. By purchasing white slip covers, you can fully transform your existing furniture. Tip number four, natural materials. Embracing the rustic modern farmhouse look will mean bringing in natural fibers. Think jute rugs, leather or linen and furniture, raw wood elements, and of course, plants. Layering natural materials within your space is a no-fail way for building your modern rustic dream space. Tip number five, galvanized pendants. Lighting is always a surefire way to add a statement to your space. By picking galvanized pendants, it's a surefire way to get the look you are going for. With lighting, you can splurge or save. The options are endless. Tip number six. One of the best ways to make your space have depth and create that modern farmhouse look you're going for is to add it in wrought iron. I personally love this bed. With the beautiful light materials, walls, and natural fibers, it adds to the depth and balance that this space craves. Pulling these fixtures into accents like your rods and your lighting completes this look. Tip number seven. Is a rustic modern farmhouse design complete without industrial stools? I don't think so. These chairs are really affordable way to transform the entire feel of the space. Tip number eight vintage signs and word art i just love word art don't you i feel like any farmhouse design isn't complete without some word art the nice thing is you don't need to go hunt flea markets to find this stuff anymore most retailers will have something with a vintage vibe and if you happen to have the real deal lucky you put that up the bigger the better tip number eight upcycle instead of new here's your chance to take something old and give it life now, Joanna Gaines has done some really intricate designs, like the use of this old windmill. But start with something easy. Old frames being repurposed is a great start. My personal favorite is a vintage looking frame, painted white, and then just some chalkboard paint added to the glass. Farmhouse design and chalkboard paints go hand in hand. Check out Pinterest for a ton of easy and affordable DIYs. Tip number nine open shelving. Even if you aren't planning a full remodel of your kitchen, adding some open shelves somewhere within your space will be another element that helps you develop that farmhouse design. Fill it with beautiful items, new and old, to give it that authentic farmhouse feel. Tip number 10, barn doors. Do I even need to say anything about this one? Barn doors go with modern farmhouse design like bread goes with butter. It is a feature that will elevate your space instantly, giving you that Joanna Gaines just remodeled my house feel. Tip number 11, giant clocks. Giant, like the bigger, the better. 
Who doesn't love a giant clock? This is a great addition to farmhouse design. I know that mine is always set to five o'clock. Tip number 11, which actually is supposed to be tip number 12. <laughs> I already wrote all these out and I just realized I doubled them for 11. So there's 16 tips and you get a bonus tip. So I don't know, this thing has just grown exponentially. Anyways, let's get back into it. Architectural salvage. This is the stuff that truly builds character within a space. You can find items like this through estate sales, farmer's markets, flea markets, and even your local buy and sell. Google architectural salvage in your local area and you will find a lot of great resources. Tip number 12 open up walls. All right, so if you're looking to do a larger remodel to give you the farmhouse space that you desire, then opening up walls will really help you achieve this look. Adding a large wooden beam completes this amazing transformation and can really brighten up your space. All right, so just an FYI on this one, guys, this takes a pro. This is not a DIY. You definitely have to hire an expert for it. But if you are willing to go to that level, it's really worth it to help elevate your look and give you that really open concept feeling that you generally see on a Chip and Joanna Gaines project. Tip number 13, white subway tiles and dark grout. This is a classic farmhouse look. I like to elevate this look by using a three by six tile with a beveled edge. And personally, I like the gray grout option. It gives it a little bit of a softer feel. Tip number four, black and white tile. Do you guys see a theme here? Black and white, classic. The nice thing with this look is it never goes out of style. Again, a little more elbow grease, but if you really want to channel your inner Joanna Gaines, this is a must. Something she has done on most of her farmhouse looks. Tip number 15, apron front sinks. I saved this one for last, the gorgeous apron front sink or otherwise known as a farmhouse sink. I just love this. If you are considering a remodel and want to achieve this look, this hands down will take you to the next level. And finally guys, as always, I want to include a bonus tip. So the bonus tip is embrace the farmhouse look. What I love about this design is it's got that modern and clean element with the white and the natural fibers, but it also has that rustic and really earthy and comfortable charm. I just love that farmhouse look. And honestly, nobody does it better than Joanna Gaines. So all the pictures that I used today are actually from HGTV's Fixer Upper, since we're all trying to channel our inner Joanna Gaines that I wanted to give credit to all the hard work that she's done to really perfect this look. I love this look and I hope that by me taking some time to source these types of things out, you guys can go out and achieve it for yourself. I'm gonna include all the links below and like I said, if it doesn't fit for some reason underneath, I'm actually gonna link you to my website and I'll make sure I put it all there in a blog. If you're looking for more tips and inspiration, I highly recommend you go check out my storage video or my video on curtains. I have a few other ones in there you might wanna check out and give you some ideas on how to change up your house. And if you're liking this content, please like and subscribe my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again, guys. It's Anya from Interior Design Hub, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Google Architectural Savage and... <laughs> Don't Google Architectural Savage. All right, let's try that again. Have you ever...